Okay, if you've been watching my last few videos, those are from the past. This is like the very present as can be. This video is gonna go straight to the point. The car that I own right now, the 2005 Infiniti G35, also known as Gina, she is for sale, sad to say. We're just gonna get familiar with this car. It's 120,000 miles. I got the car when it was around 93,000, so most of the maintenance has been done on me. All of what has been done to this car, for the most part, is has been recorded on this YouTube channel. You can check back with those videos. I'm the third owner of this, the owner before me. All that I knew is that she was a girl, so it's been properly taken care of until I modified it, but it's it has good modifications to it. For exterior modifications, I didn't really do much. It's all stock. This front bumper is off an 06 plus sports model, whatever you wanna call it. It was my preferred option and the headlights too are just from a newer version. I think the state that it's in right now is a good base for someone to start on if you want to get into modifying cars or maybe even track it. I never got the chance to do that. Maybe one of you guys can do that for me. For the sake of personality, I chose to sell it with OEM wheels so that if you wanted to buy the car, you could eventually get the wheels that you want and then put it on. Yeah, it's coming with OEM wheels. If you if you can see that. <laughs> Say you do end up with this car, I'll just like help you out with fitment and how the car looks. It's pretty simple to be honest. The, the way the car set up is to make everything as easy as possible. I'll go ahead and show you guys the suspension now. Let's go. Okay. Let's get into this. Now this is where a lot of the money is put into the car so I have a PBM super angle kit and PBM coils that allow me to have the stance that I have and I really didn't want to cheap out with this stuff you're getting the good stuff also up there that's a ISR upper control arm I like how it's adjustable it's different than other ones so it's solid it won't move around I do recommend keeping it this way so your alignments aren't that expensive because it can be a little complicated depending on the shop. The the camera squeezed underneath the car, but you guys can see the tow arm above the camera arm. SPC camera arm and Voodoo tow arms. They also they also have a lockout kit. That's how you know your alignment won't get thrown off when put into like harsh conditions or something. Onto the interior or all the stuff that you can't see on the car. I don't really want to show you guys the engine bay because there's nothing done to it. It's completely stock. There's a Z tube and some like couplers, but that's nothing really. It's just maintenance. In the interior, the car will come with a Nardi personal steering wheel and a Tomei shift knob. Sadly, the rear seats are gone as well. I never thought I would sell this car, so that's why they're completely gone. Okay. Oh, I'm too tall because I thought I was gonna be in the shade. <laughs> Does that look weird? A little bit. Yeah, it's been a crazy journey with this car, this G35 right here. That's where my YouTube started. It'd be awesome if one of you guys could own this G35 and enjoy it as much as I did. Sadly, it has to come to an end. For serious people who want to buy Gina, preferred in the Bay Area, my Instagram is going to be linked down below and it's listed on Facebook. For people just watching, don't worry, there's more to come definitely in the future. Let's take one last walk around of this car. Oh man.
man. I really do hope you guys enjoy this journey with this car. Sad to say that this is the end and thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one.